Whoa! Oh, Are you getting that? that? Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh. See this? I don't think like, that's stylish. The style? I, ah. <laughs> Whiskey gadgets. You ever see like just weird, interesting tchotchkes? Oh, yeah. They're always on the end caps at liquor stores. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. also if you're like Instagram, you get like ads or something for uh, some. And if you are in your family known for liking whiskey, yeah. it's called every Christmas in your stockings, <laughs> yes. in yes. your gifts. <laughs> We're gonna go through several whiskey gadgets, mm. and hopefully some are cool. Our first whiskey gadget is the whiskey pump. In you. Put the whiskey in it and oh, it pumps it right out through through the wooden chips. Oh, there they are. Look at them. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> this is not sexual. So the first thing, have you ever heard of a whiskey pump? Oh, is this to remove the oxygen from the bottle? No. So no? I've never actually it's got a my, fancy box. Never got my hands on this before. We're not sponsored by any of these companies, by the way. This is just stuff that we've accumulated over the years. Instantly age your whiskey. All right. That's why the wood chips. Yep. Okay. So you have thoughts on on rapid whiskey aging. High pressure and wood filters. Okay. Bullshit. Hold, hold on though. He's probably right. But you automatically from the gate. Yeah. From the, the idea. Jump, right. Zero out of ten. You you refuse the the even the pursuit of the idea. Yeah. I'm saying it's a beautiful dream. Everything yeah. I've seen doesn't really deliver an actual result that is akin to an aged whiskey. These little wooden discs, I'm assuming these are oak. Insert wooden filter. Step one. It looks like the only yes. potential char maybe is on the side. It would be very light. So that's not even a char, that's a toast. Add whiskey to the non uh, pump side of things. This side? So I guess whiskey goes into this. Sure. The bigger part. So we're gonna go in fart glisten? Yeah, that. Sure. Okay. We filled it up three-fourths of the way. Yes, now screw it together. Giving us the <clears throat> unrapid age thing. Go ahead and screw us together there, banana. We'll go in fart glisten. Oh, Tight, yes. because you're gonna do pressurization on this thing. So you turn this over the glass, and you pump the whiskey through it. There you go. Oh, gross. There's bubbles. It's foamy. It's like aerating the whiskey. I wonder how much of the difference is going to be from aeration and how much is going to be from, is it hard to push? Yeah. Kind of-ish. Yeah? It's not like now, hard, look, but it's not super easy. They said two things even on their website. Yeah. Two different claims that they're trying to say are the same claim. Okay. Instantly age your whiskey at home with high, with pressure, high pressure and, and wooden, wooden filters. filters. Okay. But then after that, what they say is, the whiskey pump will make your whiskey noticeably smoother, or your money back. They're equating a smoother mouthfeel texture right. with instantly age your whiskey at home. Wow, or your money back. I mean, I don't know how long we have to wait for, wait, like a Guinness for these bubbles to settle. Yeah, it is very cloudy, but it's mostly from the aeration and mm -hmm. bubbles yeah. there. <laughs> well, it's starting to clear up on the base now. How you doing? <laughs> you need a... <coughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that was me this weekend, too. <laughs> <laughs> you need a water bottle. You good? I'm good. <laughs> Jesus. This is your fault. <laughs> so, I'm gonna try this first. Oh, I'm <laughs> second. I'm second. <laughs> the Glen Fark, this 12. Uh, fruity, some vanilla. Malty. Yeah. Caramel. Oh, yeah. It's a decent... This uh, is now completely, side. completely clear again. <laughs> mm-hmm. Smells very similar. I'm really noticing. No, oh. you're last. Yeah, you are definitely <laughs> last. Mmm, <laughs> it does taste. Is it different? A little less vibrant, a little more flattened. You basically just did like a pressure frother. Right, so the amount. With a wood chip. Let me put it this way. <clears throat> if we're talking about pressure to force it through wood grain, for it to be a little hand pump, I don't think we're getting, we're forcing it through wood grain, really. Yeah, I agree. Are you finding a difference? Eh, barely. Yeah, it's like, slightly softer, but I think it's a similar effect we got whenever we did wine aerators with whiskey. Here's how we should really test this. <laughs> All right. Oh! It, the wood doesn't even carry a lot That's of nose. Smooth. 
You shitting disc, bro? <laughs> no, 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 now my whole mouth is numb. <laughs> it didn't work. Don't try that method. That is the ultimate vegetarian diet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, this, I mean, high, this is a high pressure, really. We noticed a difference when we were aerating. Ah, oh, very good. And that was the difference we noted. There is a difference, but I think it's aeration, and you can get a wine aerator for a couple bucks. Yep. This is the smoke shoot. The name went away in the video. <laughs> this, is the, this is the Middleton smoke top, smoke tail. Pause. This is the Middleton smoke cocktail. Cocktail smoking kits. Yes. Okay. These always look cool. I don't know what's the best version of a cocktail smoking kit. Okay, so there's the one where you have a little pile and yeah. you burn it, yeah, yeah, and then you put a lid. Yes, a and big, then there's these. big glass dome over it. Yeah, where these seem more feasible because it's over just the glass. Cherry, cinnamon, apple, or oak? Oak. Let's just try the classic Ooh, first. Oak. oak. There's a little there's a mesh, a little metal there's mesh. Extra, That's for extra one. Oh, so there's a mesh green in here. Oh. Can you refill that? Um, I think I can do this. Yeah, do it. There you go. Oh, no, Ooh, that smells one. like poison. I love it. Wow, that is intense. Whoa, I That's can smell that from intense. here. What's this? Apple? Yeah, it's apple. Apple. Okay, let's like, see. Oh, and that's yeah. the oak? oak? Yeah. We're using oak first. Okay, so. All right, all right. Load a small amount of wood chips into the chimney okay. of the smoke top. A Done. small amount in the chimney. Okay. Place, you ready? Place the smoke top on top of the vessel of your choosing. Hold the torch lighter a few inches from the top and direct the flame straight down through the chimney. How long? Whoa! Whoa Are Santa you getting that? Santa Claus is coming Whoa! to town. How long does that need to? After desired smokiness is achieved, remove and enjoy. Do what? Do so cool that looking. Is, that is actually pretty How cool. did it do that? Wow. Oh my God, that smells so it, good. It came down in like a column. That was oh. beautiful. But also very burning. Yum. Yeah. Okay. It is very burning. It's very campfire-y. Uh-huh. Okay, so that's gonna oh, be. Oh, it smells like a marshmallow. Here's, Here's the a smoky this, one. This is the oak smoke. Smoky smells. oak. Ooh. Oh my God. <laughs> that's that is really, amazing. That's really <laughs> smoky. That smells amazing. Oh, actually, it tastes wow. okay. It just smells really the smoky. The speed with which mm. that liquid picked up the smoke. Okay, Brianna, you want to do it? Yes. And then, there you go. Wow, and that's so cool. Wow, it's beautiful. Oh, it smells really good. Okay. Is that the cinnamon one? Yeah. That's mm. the cinnamon, yeah. Okay, that's a lighter touch. That feels oh. more balanced. It I, just, thought, definitely I mean, it's there. definitely there. But I it is expected softer. It's a there. lot more cinnamon to come through, but. Oh, but yeah. it's still not as strong as the oak. Still mm. like the original Glen Farkless better, uh, but I could easily see this being really fun for a cocktail. I would say high on idea and high on execution. And now for the most primitive whiskey gadget of them all, whiskey stones. It's time to get your rocks off. <laughs> Very common. Oh, they're cold. That's typically what happens wow. in the freezer. the idea. <laughs> typically what happens in the freezer. What, uh, what's the ambient room temperature right now? This is, this is why you're warm, it's 76 degrees. The whiskey is going to be also 76 degrees because yep. it's been an 76 degree. You ready? Yeah. Temp. I'm waiting for it to go down. Oh, wow. It's like 54 degrees. Nice. It's not even cold. They've been I'm in the freezer the glass. for like 24 hours. Yeah, they've... You drink it. I don't know. So my worry about these is always that I'm gonna break a tooth. Yes! Yeah. Right, even if you... Oh. See? Makes you nervous, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll try it. Okay. <laughs> it says 70. So we knocked 60. We dropped five degrees off of it. That took a lot of whiskey stones to only bring that to slightly cellar right. temperature. So they don't make it that cold. Yeah. And it feels like it's gonna shatter the glass. Yeah. And uh, in a Texas summer, that's gonna last all of five minutes. Maybe someday there's a version of a whiskey stone which yeah. is really mm -hmm. cool. I think if anything, it's just a style choice. More of a design aesthetic, yeah. an accessory for your whiskey than it is functionally bringing it down to a cold temperature. Rock and roll idea, mediocre execution. What I think is a viable alternative where you don't have to buy anything. Here's the frozen grapes. I've never, never eaten. You ever had a frozen grape? No. I gotta see some for the... Oh, it's cold. Oh, it's very cold. Oh, it's like ice. Mm. It's not actually texturally like ice. We're frozen. Man, they're frozen. Yeah. Can I say like it's been a long time since I've been a frozen delicious. grape? All right, hurry, pour That's the whiskey. That's a very nice experience. They're melting. Thirty-two degree grape right now. All right. Is it cold? Uh, okay. You can't really tell from the outside. Mm. It's too temperature. And it's not a double wall glass. I'm trying to get the liquid and not the. Sixty-two. Yeah, so it's definitely got colder. Yeah. 
Notice it'll be colder. No. It looks kind of fancy. Oh, it's kind of nice, actually. Yeah. Now, and here's the and other thing. It doesn't Not click. watered down. Not watered down. That's the high value. And it's not smashing against the glass. Mm-hmm. Hey, Alex. You want one? Put it. There really is a lot of shit. Really? Put it in your mouth. Okay, go. Yeah! Oh! You gotta open your mouth wider. It's not the first time he had balls on his chin. So real quick, we're gonna take a moment to recognize one of the most critical whiskey gadgets in your whiskey arsenal. This is your mattress, so you can sleep off that bender and wake up tomorrow well rested. This episode is brought to you by Helix Sleep. We've been working with Helix a long time now. I actually own at least two, possibly three, I'm not sure if my wife got a third one yet, uh, Helix mattresses in our house. We've recommended it to my in-laws, uh, my cousins, my parents have a Helix, even freaking Alex right here. Wave, Alex. Our only hands, Alex. Thank you, hands. Helix makes high quality mattresses conveniently shipped to your door based on your preferences when it comes to sleeping. They figure that out with you taking a sleep quiz on their website. Link is gonna be in the description below. I am a side sleeper. The sleep quiz recommended a Sunset Lux. Before I got the Helix, I was waking up probably two or three times a night. That's not an issue anymore. I'm waking up very well rested. See, there I am. This, this is me doing very reasonable things and not at all weirding out my wife at home. <laughs> there is free shipping. So they ship this in a box to your door. You open up the box and you open up the packaging and then the thing just just unfurls and then you're rocking and rolling with the, with the Helix mattress. Also, you know it's good quality because they have a 10 year warranty and if you want to have as many options as possible, they have flexible financing options over at the Helix Sleep there. The sleep quiz is very good at narrowing down the correct mattress for you and your sleep preferences. You click the link and go to helixsleep.com slash whiskey for up to $200 off and two free pillows. Worst case scenario, you get recommended something that's not the perfect fit for you. You have a 100 night sleep trial to try it out, make sure that it's just right. And if it's not the perfect mattress for you, they will come and pick up the mattress and give you a full refund. It's, you can't really go wrong. It's really good. Go do the things though. This next whiskey gadget is by Aged and Ore. And it's it's a, a glass and a ball, and I don't know what else to say about it. Bye. What if the glass was actually designed to go with one big piece of ice? Okay. Like the shape of the glass was meant to go with, this is a double walled glass. Right. Okay, yeah. This is from Aged in Ore. Okay. Again, we're not sponsored by them. There's an ice mold that has the ice that's perfectly shaped for that glass. Huh. So what's the benefit of one big chunk of ice as I go It melts way more slowly. So the, yeah. the larger chunk of ice volume that you have, the slower you get it watering down your whiskey. Is that a st another giant stone? Mm. So this is, is the mold that oh, comes mold. with the glass. Yeah. Like, what is that? This should fit. Very well. Oh, right into right the base. There. And yeah. it does have those All like right. pockets yeah. where your hands aren't directly on it. You ready? Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave a little bit like an iceberg. So mm -hmm. the benefit of that is very little whiskey. Mm. Yep. Has so much more contact with the ice itself. The benefit of the double walled glass, you don't get your hand cold and mm -hmm. you don't get your drink warm. Or condensation. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mmm. That's so much nicer. I like whiskey on one rock. Oh my God, that's cold. I do it at the tasting room Whoa. in the summer all the time. Yeah, I think the thing that I'm not in love with is the thickness of the edge. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. This uh, like double walled glass mm -hmm. is becoming more common in the whiskey glassware industry. Yeah. Mm. I don't like the thickness of the edge because it makes me feel like I'm drinking out of a sippy cup. I kind of like it. You like that thick edge? You like sippy yeah. cups? <laughs> 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 I wouldn't do a cocktail like that, mm -mm. but just a neat. Well, okay, not the... true. A whiskey, old fashioned, like a whiskey heavy cocktail, yeah. is really good on only one rock. But like, if you want to do like I'm, I'm a real, more towards just the size of this. Oh, in the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Sorry. not really, it's not really room for a cocktail. To yes, happen. the glass, yeah. not a cocktail glass. This is a Rex prototype for whiskey glass with a uh, uh, magic swirling whiskey stones that probably, hopefully, aren't poisonous. I was prototyping an idea. You want to see my idea? Imagine this. Yeah? Your rocks glass. 
because that's, that's got ice. something in it already. And then no, what if it. instead of ice mm -hmm. or grapes or nonsense, you chilled a neomidium magnet or oh. two or three? Why would that be important? Ooh, because oh, that's like, yeah. what if that's, that's satisfying? What, what if that's Ooh. your what if that's your whiskey stone? Okay, and and oh, that's cool, what? right? And what and if then you can mix? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What if your whiskey? And then you take another magnet and then you do like oh, that. Oh yeah, Stars. this is Isn't how you cool. This magic. is how you uh, this is how you start things in a lab. Hurry, no. hurry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? hurry! <laughs> oh yeah, look at it, look at it dancing in whiskey. Yes. And then you want to give it a little, a little mixy mix. Yes. Right. Look, Look at if that. we mixed our cocktails that way, that'd be hilarious. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how food safe magnets are. If they're food safe, that's very cool. Yeah. Uh, they, it's just basically another version of a whiskey stone. But if you make the whiskey stones magnetic, Here. you take one. Like, oh, I'm trying to explain the idea, and you guys just want to around. Yeah, this is super fun. <laughs> it doesn't even know where to go. Yeah. Tingle bells. Oh, shit. It feels very aggressive. Oh my gosh. That looks awesome. That looks so good. It's not cold. Yeah, well, we have all the magnets out of the liquid because you're f***ing around. There you go. There we That's go. That's where you have it basically turned into a whiskey stone. Yes. Now, you'll notice the base of that. Mm -hmm. There is a magnet inserted in there. I thought that was going to be the most costly, time-consuming part in of this sort of idea. magnet in the bottom of glass? Yeah, I thought, yeah. man, I'm gonna have to find like a glass manufacturer, figure out what kind of magnet we can insert, figure out the process to do it. Already exists. Really? Yes. Why? Uh, people with boats. Uh, and they have, uh, they wanna have glassware that doesn't slide off yeah, of the table. They have magnetic that. surface on the tables. Yeah, because yeah. then when you tilt it, it doesn't fall and hit you in the yeah, yeah. teeth. I think that could be really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, food safety and magnets, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't get to that part. You wanna do something, mm -hmm. Very unimpressive, but super practical. Yes, that's my preferred way of living. <laughs> the shape of the Glencairn, if you ever forget a whiskey in there and it- Oh, it's the worst. What happens? You, you end up with this like dried residue that for the life of you, you cannot right. reach, even to scrape it clean. Right. You can't get, and then you get a rag and it it doesn't work. And if it's too much pressure, it's gonna break the glass. Yes, which is, so, yes. A Glen Cairn cleaner. Yes. And who also does this the covers? Has seen a lot of use. Yeah. yeah. Actually, in coffee cups. I keep one of those in the tower. Yeah. The trickiest thing to clean is the Glen Cairn, mm -hmm. and it's made to go directly in there. Uh, so in terms of whiskey gadget, that's not sexy. No, but but God it saves a ton it's of practical. time, a ton of time, and I think we have these on the store mm. yeah. just because. Quality of life as a whiskey drinker, mm. it's kind of great. That's a big one. Yeah. Yeah, I big to dinner. That's hot as hell. This is the belt buckle flask. Oh, look at that. It's fucking badass, man. Fucking badass. When it comes to flaskiness, you have to dedicate some real estate in those pants, though. Yeah, back pocket, right. boot. But what if you could put your flask on your belt buckle. On your buckle. belt buckle? All right. There's Wait, did you color this? Wait, why is this one sharpie? Why, why is this janky colored? I just found these off of eBay, right? How much is a hole? Uh, that's the issue, though. Two ounces, so a yeah. double. Yeah. It's a double shot. You can't even share that. No, you can't. Yeah. But I don't know if people want my junk warmed what whiskey. Is, that's fair. What is that? In terms of the idea, like, to be stylish, Nope. See this? I don't think like, that's you see the style. Yeah. I think that's alcoholic. You see that style though? <laughs> it's very classy. No. Right, she knows. So filling ah. the flasks, filling the flasks is kind of a, a pain in the ass. And there's not much in there. So it's more of a style, a form over function. Which is most deal. fashion, if you think yeah. about it. Yeah. We didn't need that. Alright. Holy f that's so cool. Is it though? I, I want one. Okay, okay. The, Advertise it as something where you can just have all your whiskeys locked and loaded. Obviously, we put a few things in here besides whiskey. Yeah, I mean, yeah. what's with the fireball and the malort? Well, what is that bullshit? Um, no, no, you're good. Yeah. Just get back. No, so I... we we want. Oh yeah, Brianna's still here. That's a little better, I think. Ah. But you know what this would be amazing for a party? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We put in a few different bottle shapes. I'm surprised the Sexton Irish whiskey bottle. Yeah. I'm surprised that fit. It actually That's made cool. it. Yeah, yeah. And then we did a one liter of Bailey's. Yeah, good night. That made it, made it in there. All right. So we're going to make you a proprietary blend. Yes. What are you feeling? Well, just leave Malord out of it. Well, 
They may need a little kick. I think Here, you need to put your finger into it. Okay. Right? Like grab it from one side oh, and put yeah. your finger into it. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah you could, well, yeah. you're going to need more room. All right, now give it some Baileys. Yeah, I think we give it some Baileys. Yeah. Now. Now the ba oh, I think the Baileys is too thick. Look at that. Oh, yeah. No, they broke the seal. Oh, it's chunky. Now it's curdling. It's gotten a little bit chunky. We need to thin it out. Yeah. Are you thinking uh, fireball? Yeah. Some cinnamon. People like that. I don't. What what are you doing? We gotta un uncurdle it. Why are you using a sh no? You can't uncurdle it. I, I, speaking from experience, I would... I it actually smells kind of good. It's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just gonna be a texture that's the problem. What do you think? I don't imagine it's gonna be terrible other it's... than texture. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> that isn't terrible. Come on. You put that on ice? <laughs> put that on ice. Okay, it's fine. So far, what are we thinking in terms of idea versus the I actual the, reality? I think the idea of it at a party is it would be really fun. Yeah. yeah. Practically, it looks a little like, I'm a little nervous that every time Rex does that, something's gonna break or this is gonna fall over. I like the concept a lot. I think it's a cool idea. This, like, listen to this. Yeah. Nah, that's chintzy. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite gadget so far in the episode? Of all the other gadgets. Oh, I, oh, clear winner on the smoker. The smoker? Oh yeah, I love that. What okay. I was gonna say. First of all, we would like to thank everybody. Thank you, guys. thank you so much. Thank you. That came out to the Bastards Ball this last weekend. What is the Bastards Ball? What do we have there? What's going on? We had 14 different distilleries come pouring delicious liquids. We also had Whiskey Olympics, where we played awesome whiskey games. Yes. And then we <laughs> hung out with the MVs, a lot of good food. Yeah. Uh, but thanks to everybody that came out. Um, the only thing I want to say is, she's a surprisingly good shot. Surprisingly. One, two, three. I'm gonna get it out of the way. You guys, you're the reason why this happens. You make this entire thing exist. It literally would not happen without you being here. Thank you guys. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Chad has decided to punish me for my insolence. <laughs> and Brianna, she has stepped up so much. She's become such an important part of the channel. We love having her on the team, and she's going to shoot paintballs. Why did they shoot, come up with this? She's going to shoot paintballs at a shot glass full of whiskey sitting on my head. This was a dumb idea. We, should... that was a great idea. we need a contribution. We need a contribution. I've got over right here. I'll pour it. There you go.